welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat Spit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention. Please remember that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. All of your purchases are guaranteed. All of the Ranar equipment pricing includes crating and free shipping anywhere in the continental United States. So check it out. All right, so today's video is a quick tips video. Quick tips for screen printing. I promise it's gonna be a short one, okay? <laughs> I promise. All right, so uh, listen, today I just wanted to make a standalone video about the differences between photopolymer emulsions and dual cure emulsions. All right, so I just wanna run down the most basic differences and points that you might wanna know when you're first starting to screen print and maybe choosing whether to work with a dual cure or a photopolymer emulsion. These are the two most common types of emulsion that you're gonna find in the textile industry today, in commercial printing anyway, okay? So, um, let's quickly break down the differences between a photopolymer emulsion and a dual cure emulsion. Let's talk about photopolymer emulsions first. The first thing that you'll note about photopolymer emulsions is that they require no mixing. They're ready to use straight out of the bucket and there is no sensitizer that needs to be mixed into the emulsion base. So it's ready to use and there's no mixing required. The second thing that you'll note about photopolymer emulsions is that they have a much longer shelf life than that of dual cure. So a photopolymer emulsion will last a minimum of one year and up to three years depending on the brand and type of photopolymer emulsion you have. Another thing to note about the photopolymer emulsion, which is very important, is that they have a much more narrow exposure latitude than that of dual cures. So what that means is there's a smaller range of exposure times that it will successfully make a good stencil. Okay, so for instance, the textile PC blue that I sell, Saudi Chem textile PC blue, the house dressing as we call it, um, on my fluorescent industrial black lamp fluorescent unit, it's about uh, 35 to 45 seconds. So it has a range of 35 to 60 seconds, depending on what you're doing, right? So the exposure range is in seconds. Now, as a result, another thing to note is that photopolymer emulsions will be less forgiving with poor film positives. Okay, so if your film positive is not dense, it's not crisp, it's not uh, blocking the UV light, then the photopolymer emulsion is going to be more difficult to expose. And that extends to another note that the photopolymer emulsion may be harder to expose halftones and fine detail as a result. Okay, another very important factor about photopolymers versus dual cure is that the photopolymer emulsion is faster in speed. So it may be um, a minute you know, again, this depends on the type of photopolymer emulsion you have and your exposure source and your film positive. So um, we're just saying in general, photopolymer emulsions tend to be faster in exposure speed. Okay. And another note, what I will say about the photopolymer emulsions is that they are probably best working, you know, they work best with, you know, commercial UV exposure units or metal halide bulbs, um, all the commercial type exposure units that have high UV output, they will work very well with. Well, let's talk about dual cure emulsions now, okay? The first thing that we'll note about dual cure emulsions is they must be mixed with the sensitizer when you get them. So when you purchase a dual cure emulsion, you're going to get the, the emulsion in a bucket and you're going to get a little bottle of most likely powdered sensitizer that you have to mix into the emulsion to sensitize the emulsion so that you can use it, okay? Secondly, the shelf life of the dual cure is going to be much shorter normally, in general, generally speaking, will be much shorter than that of a photopolymer. So a dual cure can last typically for one month up to three months and maybe longer for some of the newer uh, dual cure hybrids and these kinds of weird uh, dual cures that you see today may last a little bit longer, but typically we're talking about one month to three months after you mix the sensitizer in the dual cure emulsion. Okay, now another thing again to note is the exposure latitude of the dual cure emulsion is going to be much wider, a much bigger range that you get a good stencil out of, meaning that you may be able to burn the 
uh, exposure time, you know, burn the screen at four minutes, five minutes, or six minutes, and all of those exposures will produce a working stencil that works just fine. So a dual cure, as a result, will make another note is much more forgiving with poor film positives, right? So because it has that wider exposure latitude, a poor film positive, like maybe made on a copier with a transparency from the office supply store, something like that may work a little bit better on a dual cure. Okay, and again, we'll note one more thing that is an extension of what we were just talking about as a result of the expo you know, wider exposure latitude. It's most likely going to be easier to expose halftones and fine detail with a dual cure than it is with a photopolymer. So we'll say that dual cures are probably a little bit easier to work with in getting halftones and fine detail. Okay, and also con uh, contrastingly to the photopolymer emulsions, a dual cure is going to be much slower in the exposure speed. So whereas a, dual, a photopolymer may be a minute or less, a dual cure may be five minutes or less, or could be six minutes or less, depending on, you know, again, your specific dual cure emulsion that you're using. Okay, so we're going to say that in general, dual cure emulsion is much slower in exposure speed. So that means it takes a longer exposure time to create the stencil. Okay, so as a result of that, you know, with that being said, we'll make one more note and we'll say that um, the dual cure is actually, you know, very good for homemade exposure units. If you're using a work lamp or some kind of fluorescent lamps that aren't necessarily industrial black lamp type units, any kind of homemade exposure unit that you're using a regular incandescent bulb or a work lamp from Home Depot, all of those type of homemade exposure units will probably be a lot easier to work with when you use a dual cure emulsion. Okay, I think those are the most basic and most general type of uh, pieces of information that I can give you about dual cure versus photopolymer emulsions and helping you decide which one to work with. And also remember that they're both equally capable of doing screen printing in all ways. So there's really no difference between the capabilities of either emulsion, meaning that dual cure emulsions and photopolymer emulsions can print the same stuff. They're both equally capable. And also remember that you have to check the specific photopolymer emulsion or the dual cure emulsion to see which ink it is resistant to, meaning that uh, whether it's a photopolymer emulsion or a dual cure emulsion, you have to check and make sure that it's resistant to the type of ink that you're using, meaning water-based, solvent, UV, or plastisol. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this helped out. I just wanted to do a standalone on this so it would be easy for people to find because I know we have talked about this in the past. I know I have. So uh, I just wanted to make it really easy to find and uh, help you out in deciding what emulsion to use. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your time and attention. If you like what you see, please rate thumbs up, comment below if you can, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.